Hey everyone, it's Kobe at the Saltwater Edge. I'm back to show you how to tie the raised fly, which is a great springtime uh, beginner tying fly. Um, it's a very easy tie, it uses three, four materials uh, plus the hook. Um, and it also uses short bucktail, which is great because most flies want the long stuff, which is hard to find. So if you have a lot of short bucktail to use up, um, this is a great fly to tie a lot of. Uh, to get started, I'm using the Mustad Heritage fly hook, the C70 SAP, um, in a size one. Uh, most ray flies are pretty small. Uh, you want them to mimic like small sand deals. So um, a size one or a size two is, is probably the most popular sizes. Um, I don't get too caught up in what type of hook. Um, thin gauge, thick gauge, maybe depending on if you, you want to fish a little deeper or not. Um, um, you might think about that, but um, just any size or most size, one or two hooks um, will, will be just fine. To start, um, I, I start with the back of my thread just past the hook point there, um, sort of right before the, the hook shank starts to bend. Um, and I'm going to tie in my silver flat body braid and just tie one of the tag ends under the shank and secure it down. I personally tend to do a lot more wraps than necessary but um, whatever whatever gets it attached to the hook. And I'm going to work my thread back to the front and just wrap that body braid forward overlapping it a little bit um, with each previous wrap so there's no gaps in it and keeping it tight as I work my way to the front. To right about there, then I'm going to pull it up and just lock it there with my thread. And I've saved a little bit of a gap um, between where I tied that down and the end of the hook so I have some space um, to work in the bucktail now. I'm going to start with white. The raised fly has um, some white bucktail, then yellow, then olive, um, and then it's topped with some peacock curl. So we'll start with some white. This is also a great fly to use up some of your short white bucktail um, that you don't really use in a lot of other big patterns. So I'm just getting out the smaller, the smaller hairs there. Um, and then sort of deciding what length I want to go. Ideally, you, you taper it a little bit so the white hairs will be, will come out to the shortest length off the back of the hook, the yellow a little longer, um, and the olive the longest. That looks about good. I'm going to start with two loose wraps and then really lock it down. Trim off all that excess. And I like to secure it, make sure it doesn't spin on me. Pretty good. Uh, some raised flies you know, depending on, on how you want to tie it, you can go sparse, you can go a little heavy with the hair. Um, I tend to leave on the, lean on the little heavier side just so I get more life out of the fly. Just getting rid of those shorter hairs. I'm going to tie in that yellow again a little bit longer and the white. Again, one loose wrap to secure it. Then I'm going to tighten, lock it down there, and sort of trim it at various lengths, which will just help shape the head um, at the end. And really test your eyesight. Just going to secure that down again. Check to make sure it's all lining up. 
I'm going to go in with some olive. And this will be the longest um, of the hairs. The olive being a darker color is going to just look um, thicker, so I'm not going to use as much olive as I did the yellow and the white. So I'll get a lot of color out of fewer hairs. Okay, that lines up pretty good. And one loose wrap, two, sort of helping my thumb to position the hairs. Trimming anything that might be a little long over the eye. Then grabbing some peacock curl. Probably four strands will be, be sufficient for the raised fly. Those will be about as long as the olive bucktail. Secure that down. Make a nice clean head on the fly. I like to try and shape my heads a little bit when I'm done with the thread. And then uh, you could, you know, whatever glue you, you prefer to use. Um, these days I really like the UV glue. Um, so I just finish it off with that. Um, and there you go, really simple, um, easy to tie, great beginner fly to tie. Um, especially if you're getting into flat wings, it's a great um, intro fly to those. Um, but very effective in the spring season or when they're on, anything's on small bait. Um, more of a finesse fly in its sparseness um, if the fish are being finicky. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, there will be plenty of more fly tying videos. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Um, and give us a call if you have any questions.